Let's have a look at SAP Screen Personas. This is a landing page that my colleague Tim Burghardt has created for the logistics department of a company. Here you have, for example, only the functionality that is required by this user group to create a standard order or to display a sales order or to enter your time. It is also possible to have some web links, for example, to a who's who repository or to some sales reports. But let's create the sales order that we want. Customer 16, demo cyber, material, one piece of that one. And process the sales order. Okay, everything is validated. And by the way, do you remember the old looking screens from SAP? They look like this. Now you can see the difference. A lot of information is uh, a lot of information is delivered by SAP on several tabs, on several fields, and not all the information is relevant for this user group that we are aiming for. So we're minimizing the information that is delivered on a screen and also minimizing the amount of buttons or functionality that is not required by this user group. But let's go back to the screen that we have created in Screen Personas. Okay, let's save this sales order. And you can see that the order number 38 has been saved. Let's go back to the landing page. And again, I want to show you the Scheme Personas landing page, but of course, there is still the standard landing page from SAP with all the functionality that is uh, delivered by SAP and that you are authorized to use for. I hope you can see the difference in the usability of the screen with SAP Screen Personas.